Ladies and gents, we need to talk about the winds of winter. To be more precise, the stagnant state of the winds of winter. So eight years ago, as we all know, A Dance with Dragons came out. I got a book on the first day. I read it within three days because I had already waited for a few years for it. Then I lent it to my one of my friends. And that was the same friend who had introduced me actually to the series uh, back in the early 2000s. So I managed to uh, return the favor. And while he was reading, I reflected on what I had read. And I realized that the plot had not progressed at all. It might sound like an exaggeration, and it might as well be. But I'm pretty passionate about this subject, so forgive me that one. Still, you get the point. A Dance with Dragons was a letdown. Especially if you're talking about plot progression. Now, just to keep this short, once I got my copy of the book back, I read all over again. And yes, as you can imagine, all my suspicions were confirmed. That's what killed all the sense of anticipation I had for the next book, which is The Winds of Winter. When we got news that The Dance with Dragons was finished, we all assumed that the Miranese knot was resolved, which meant the writing process would speed up and we would get the rest of the series in a timely manner. So once I was done reading A Dance with Dragons, I realized two things. One, since plot progression had slowed down to a crawl, it meant George Martin would not be able to finish the series with two more books. Since the Miranizna was still pretty much there, it meant the task of writing The Winds of Winter would be much more difficult and consequently take a much longer time to finish. And now after almost eight years and still no release date in sight, it really saddens me to realize that what I thought back in the day to be a rush judgment on my part, pessimistic view of the future of the franchise turned out to actually be right. A couple of months ago, when I had pretty much given up on anything related to the Winds of Winter being finished, or getting a release date or something, I read a uh, promising piece of news. So it was, it was about November 16, November 17. Uh, I read this piece of news that said, According to reports, George Martin is in a hideout, a cabin in the woods to be precise, isolated from everyone, trying to finish the winds of winter. As you can guess, that had me hyped up. I gained back all the anticipation I had lost for the series, for the coming of the winds of winter and such. And I told myself, okay, Martin, you're back. You're back in that state that you want. Go ahead, finish it, let's see what comes of it. But I'm still gonna keep it realistic. So I decided I'm not gonna Google search the winds of winter every day for updates. So I decided I leave it be for a month or two. Then I come back, try to find out if there's any actual substantial updates. And that is exactly what I did. So a few days ago, I decided it was time for an update. So I went straight to George Martin's not a blog, which is his blog. Anyway, so I check out the entries. The latest one is December 19. It's about a new illustrated version of this uh, series, the book series. And then there's Fire and Blood post. There's a post about him being nominated to New Jersey's Hall of Fame and congratulations to him. It recommends a TV series, all of which could be done while he's in a cabin, so it's none of which is uh, suspicious at all. But then I reach the bottom of the page. There is this surprise waiting for me there. So November 28, 11, 12 days after it was first reported that he was in this cabin isolated, trying to finish the series, I see this post. We are back home in the land of enchantment after 10 days in the east, mostly in New York City, but with a few visits to my old stomping grounds in New Jersey, across the bay. So two days after he was reported to be in this cabin and isolated from the world, trying to finish the winds of winter, he goes on a two-week trip to New York. 
in New Jersey. I guess for I guess for Thanksgiving, visiting family, and he has an appearance on a late show program. Now, don't get me wrong; I'm not blaming him for having a social life or visiting family, appearing on TV, stuff like that. He's free to live his life as he wants, but from what I see, from all the clues, I can pretty much conclude that even George Martin has pretty much given up on the winds of winter. And yes, it's an exaggeration. The winds of winter is going to come out eventually, because uh, I'm pretty sure George Martin has some kind of contractual obligation to his publishers to at least write another book or two more books. But what, what is plain to see for anyone who has been following this debacle, Martin's career over the years, that he has lost a lot of drive. He hasn't l lost material. It's not, it's not a matter of material and content. He can write and he hasn't lost his touch. But I'm pretty sure he has lost a lot of motivation. Uh, extreme fame comes with a lot of privileges and obligations. Some conventions, I guess he has to show up, some appearances on TV or interviews he has to show up to. Some of them, many of them he wants to. He wants to enjoy his fame, success that he's achieved, and nobody can blame him for that. Another factor that could play heavily into this is the great fame and success of the TV show, especially with, considering the fact that the show overtook the books in plot a few seasons ago and in a few months they're gonna present hundreds of millions of viewers with an ending that's gonna be pretty much very similar to what we're gonna get in the books this could very well be one of the main reasons George Martin has lost motivation to actually sit down and finish the winds of winter we all know that he explicitly stated his disappointment with the showrunners uh, in finishing the series uh, after eight seasons. In his opinion, there's enough material and content to have like 12 or 13 seasons of Game of Thrones, but none of which means George R. R. Martin bears no personal accountability for his inability to actually finish the book. Now I hope in the near future we get some kind of substantial update, even better release date, or even better than that, get our hands on a copy right before the last season hits. How about that? Well, I shall keep my expectations realistic, and I suggest you do the same. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got to say that I did not make this video with the aim of taking jabs at George Martin's person. This is just me voicing concerns about the future of the series and my thoughts on how we came to be where we are at right now. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave any comments, positive, negative, hate, love, whatever. I'll be happy to read them.